Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Thank you so much for watching. So I've been MIA the last couple of weeks because I have been so overwhelmed with everything that's going on in my life right now, if I'm being completely honest with you. Ever since I came back from Paris, I was so ecstatic and elevated because I got this 9.75 for my first grade of my master studies. So I reeked off hubris. And I thought like, oh, my whole mess is going to be like this. It's going to be so easy. I don't have to do anything. I can just work every day and my grades will come. Well, was I wrong? So I worked four nights a week. And the next thing I know, my next exams were around the corner. Because in my study, you get exams every three weeks. So basically every 10 days, you have to study for your next exams if you want to pass with high grades, which I want. So... I got myself in a situation that I had to work for nights a week and you work eight hours a night and then the next morning I had to go to school, to the university and like study and I it was too much for me. So I completely became exhausted and I just locked myself up in the library to study for my next exams, which were like a couple of days ago. So I passed luckily, but I was so tired that after my exams, I just laid in bed for two days and I still look really tired. And it's so unlike me. I was so mad at myself because normally I really prioritize my rest. For example, Einstein, I don't want to compare myself to anyone, but I read about Einstein a lot and he, if I'm not mistaken, he used to sleep like nine to ten hours a night. And he used to take a lot of naps during the day. And he obviously is a genius. And I really... I have a theory that we all are so conditioned from a young age that you should work really hard and that you only matter if you work so hard almost to the point of exhaustion and I really feel like that's so not the way I want to live and in my experience I get by far the most done if I really prioritize my rest so I always did that well not always but most of the time and now look at me, I really feel like we're all conditioned to work so hard and I really want to tell you guys that you shouldn't feel guilty if you need rest because we are all human and we all need rest. And it's also, wait one second, I have to get this. It's also one of the reasons I think that so many people are burned out these days because they just don't know when to stop. And I completely get it. But I just told myself, you're gonna find a new balance, you're gonna work less. Now I'm just getting ready for work. I, <laughs> irony, I'm gonna go to work because I still have to finish my current schedule because you, at my job, you have to fill in your days for the upcoming two weeks. And then once you fill in those days, you have to show up. So after two weeks, you can fill in new days, so the days you want to work. So after next week, so I'm halfway my current schedule, I'm gonna fill in less days. By the way, I'm wearing my little Barbie outfit. Look, cute, right? I like it. And I got a new fake tan, look. You have to see on my legs. It's a little bit smudgy still, but my sister gave it to me. So cute she is. Bali Body, the one hour express. She has the same and I'm gonna test it out because before I had this one. Bonnie Sense Dark. My perfumes. I always mix these two, the Tuscan leather and the tobacco vanilla, vanille. Oh, baby. baby wipes, really important. Okay, let's go to the lingerie store and then go to work. I'm fighting for my life.
Alright, let's go to work. changed into my red lingerie set. I'm wearing my red headband also. I just want to warn you guys really quick about something because look at my hair compared to my other videos. It's completely ruined in my opinion. I have all this breakage in the middle. You know how it came? Because I changed my pillowcase. I didn't change anything in my beauty routine or in my hair routine except for my pillowcase because I washed my pillowcase on a too high setting so it got ruined and I had to change back to my old cotton pillowcase and then after a couple of weeks I suffered all this hair loss on the parts where I sleep on like in the back on the sides but now I'm hiding it with my headband but I really was quite sad about it so I would urge you guys to invest in, well, it's only a couple of euros, a couple of dollars, to buy a cotton, no, not a cotton, a satin or silk pillowcase, or to buy a satin or silk sleeping cap, like a night bonnet. <laughs> that blauwe licht is so erg for me. <laughs> oh God. It's the next day already, I just woke up. Look at my new couch, by the way, guys. I ordered it. Oh, I love it so much. It's an original Chesterfield. I'm very happy with it. Also, I ordered Starbucks. I need this so much. And I got Two things with it, wait one second. It's so crazy on the street. And I got with it carrot cake. This is really good. And a caramel shortbread. dress on cider let me show you i hear really good stories about cider and really bad stories about cider so i hope this dress will fit me and will be okay i'm just gonna unpack this package really carefully so i can reuse it if i have to return everything oh i also bought that little skirt of course i almost forgot i ordered two things a dress and a skirt very curious now So this dress I ordered. Hmm. How does it even work? I actually like it. It's a bluish silver color with a floral pattern. And it's quite long. So it goes into here over the knee. And it has a little low back. So I like that. Oh, I really like it. The reviews told me that it's very hugging for your curves, so it's a little bit tight. I'm gonna fit it later today. Also, I ordered this skirt. Because, as you guys know, I am obsessed with tartan and plate skirts, so I always order 
new ones whenever I see them. Now I ordered this color, like a Bordeaux-ish red with green. I really like it. Size medium. And it feels kind of thick, so that's good. I really want to just wear this with boots and like orangey colors and I don't know. It's basically like a fall skirt. That I ordered anyway. Also, you know what I ordered guys? A dancing pool. Finally, I ordered a dancing pool again for my house. I've been talking about it all the time. Mm. But I kept forgetting about it until it arrives in the mail. And it is here. The construction is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it will work. I'm gonna do it right now, I think. Oh, guys, guys, look. My golden dancing pole. It's gonna be right here in the middle of my living room. So this is what I'm working with right now. Let's see. <clears throat> I did it guys, it's here. I love it so much. I still have to do one thing, there are three screws left because I have to, how do you say that, level it a little bit. So I'm gonna look for a tool that has water in it so I can level it out so it's really 100% straight. Because now I only did it like in an optical way so I just looked. And you can never be sure of that. So it's not completely attached. I can still adjust it by doing this, you see? So I would not recommend dancing right now. It's already the next day. I'm gonna close the vlog right now. I am at the library actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. My next vlog will be up soon and I hope to see you in my next video.